So in preparation for my GDQ run, I'm gonna start running against a timer of uh, one hour and five minutes. That is my estimate for my GDQ run. My goal is to be faster than that uh, pretty much every single time if I can. Uh, three, two, one, go. Timer, 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 timer. Get scammed, I'm getting extra time. You all are getting scammed. I got five extra free seconds. Doubters get fucked. <laughs> I don't know, my timer, my foot pedal wasn't working. I had to fix it. It wasn't my fault, I swear. But yeah, we're still playing on the uh, X station, which is allowing me to play the randomizer on actual, original, official hardware, which is really cool, really fun. Um, it has a few interesting uh, problems, but you know. Oh, is the tracker misleading? Yeah, I have to fix that too. The fact that I don't have an auto tracker anymore means that everything is just a little bit harder to keep track of. I feel like the auto tracker really has spoiled, um, spoiled me into just never thinking. I just never, I just never have to think normally. But now, now I, I do have to think. It's crazy. GDQ will be in person. It's going to be in Minneapolis, I believe. The game has a built-in tracker. It's called the menu. True. Yo, this cape kind of crazy. Too bad we don't get to look at it right now. Do I have a stream deck for the tracker? You think I'm paying for a stream deck? Those things are so expensive and they're glorified like USB controllers. I don't know. If I wanted to, I could set up a keyboard shortcut tracker maybe and just use like my number pad to do basically the same thing. Cube of Zoe, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Did I load the right... Is this the right game? Did I load up the vanilla game, or... Did I pick the wrong... Is this even... You can do the same thing with, like, a phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the stream deck... Unless Elgato wants to sponsor me, then my opinion about the stream deck will completely change and I'll be like, guys, you don't understand. It's a game changer. If you are a content creator, you should totally spend $400. I actually don't know how expensive they are. They're like 300 bucks, right? $300 on, on this device that could be just a keyboard. You're telling me a lycanthrope to the seed? Sheesh. I've never seen a seed go over an hour and five. I ha I've had a few hour and ten minute seeds, like, way back in the day. If I have, like, a complete meltdown and it's, like, a nine complexity barn burner of a seed, I feel like it's possible. It's $200. Sheesh. Yeah, it's still too expensive. I think they have different models of stream decks too that are more expensive, that are like bigger and have more buttons or whatever. If my mom tells me to go to my room and the power goes out, <laughs> yeah. Then maybe I don't finish in an hour and five minutes, true. I think for my GDQ run, I'll probably do every single check and I won't skip anything. It won't be like a realistic expl uh, like playthrough for like a tournament scenario, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for just a showcase of the randomizer itself. And it's like, yes, I technically could go faster by risking skipping a few things, but a GDQ, I feel like that's a bad idea. Yo, is that, where are my boners at? There's my boners. I thought I was down here. Yeah, the cross uh, dropped from the uh, axe armors because they drop random sub weapons sometimes. Oh. 
This is the best song in the game. Speaking of GDK in person, have I determined we'll be on the couch for commentary? Uh, it'll likely be people that are there that know Soten, so probably Bobby... Uh, the Swarm. Wh whomever's there that knows Soten. I don't- I actually don't know how they're gonna do couch commentary. If it's like I just show up with people and they're like, okay, that's cool. Or if I have to, like, get it approved ahead of time. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I know online you have to get them approved ahead of time at least, but... Well, I'll grab it just in case, like, a library card is $200. Well, it doesn't matter. I, there was a diamond. You did a 200.6 full bestiary grind a while ago, and you learned a lot. Nice. Uh, we'll just go to the library. Yeah, those are fun. How much approval do knowledgeable people need? I don't. I have no clue, man. Look at the end of the at the end of the day, GDQ is gonna do what GDQ wants to do. I am not a uh, 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 Stephen GDQ. Please, Mr. GDQ is my father. Call me GDQ. Like I'm not that guy. So, does anybody else drop sub weapons? The other Axe Knights also drop sub weapons, but it's the same one. So whatever they decide to do is, I'm just going to follow what they decide to do, you know? We snorkeling in here. I'm interested. Oh, I had a turquoise as well. I'm interested. Lee, 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 Leapstone. Life Apple, Monster Vials, uh, Monster Mana Prism is expensive. Girthing, Heaven Sword. Uh, we definitely go for one, one girthy boy, please. One Mana Prism, please. And I'll call it there. Farewell for now. I mean, I could have got more mana prisms, but I don't think it's that worth it. Have I ever done PvP in the Souls games? Yes, I have. Are you asking my opinion on it? Because I think it is bad. Mostly because of the netcode. The idea of PvP in Dark Souls is fine. The issue is that Bandai Namco doesn't know how to program a online video game to save their life. Uh, have I adjusted to the different input lag? Yeah, for sure. Uh, getting used to a different, like, input delay isn't that hard, in my opinion. Would you 1v1 someone in Modern Warfare 2 Rust Quickscopes? If I was 13 years old, I would probably crush, yeah. That that was my peak Modern Warfare 2 quickscoping days. But unfortunately, I have grown old. Oh man, I thought I could dive kick off of that. Medusa head, it would have been cool. Come on. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my lag. We're fine. Yeah, as soon as I hit 14, it was over. I couldn't quick scope anymore. I mean, I might as well because of the mana prisms. Get down here, please. Thank you. Okay, we can try the flea ladder. Oh! The only thing that would actually mess up my my muscle memory now is if I switched back to playing on emulator. Because I'm adjusting right now. Oh, 
of course it's a meal ticket. But that's the thing about adjusting to something is you don't want to give yourself too much uh, stimulus and too many like things to keep track of. So as long as I keep playing on X Station, I'll get used to it and it'll be fine. The only downside is if I have a tournament match coming up uh, for Jupiter's tournament, uh, and I'm used to playing on X Station, I'm going to do my match while playing on X Station, I think. Have you ever tried to wolf through those guys? Probably have, yeah. There's some, like, wolf strats that might be viable there, but it's difficult. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna be quick scoping Dracula with my, um, intervention with the, um, uh, uh, g gold camo. I'm gonna try this strat, because I think it's viable. Well, not anymore, it's not. So the idea was to do it this way. They came from the worst angle. Now there's not, yeah, there's not enough of them. That's fine. We got what we wanted. I got the warp, right? Yeah, I did. We'll just warp back. It's fine. Yo, what up, Nos? Welcome. You can do custom camo in COD? Jeez. I'm sure nothing problematic happened with that. Nope. I'm sure no offensive symbols were ever used. I'm sure it was super chill all the time. No one did a bad word or anything. It was all anime girls? Okay, that's that's fine. I remember Black Ops and uh was it Black Ops 2? I remember Black... I think it was original Black Ops for me. I remember the, the emblems, the custom emblems were... Whoo-wee, they were rough. The internet was just like that back then. That's crazy. Was fun, though? I would be careful. I would be careful admitting to that, if I was you. Yeah, a lot of the internet is still like that. Less so, but yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't point that out as like a, a, a point of pride, right? Like, I'm willing to admit that I, being on the internet as young as I was, I was, I was indoctrinated into that culture and probably said and did fucked up things, right? As a 13 year old on the internet, not understanding what's going on and not being like the internet gamer culture of the era. But do I look back on that and say I'm proud of that? Hell no, absolutely not, absolutely not. Yo, what up, Ludwig? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> kids these days wouldn't survive Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Nah, I think kids these days cyberbully each other much, much harder. Because let's be real, like, real life bullying doesn't, like, happen nearly as often. So, like, I feel like kids have gotten... The, the nuclear arms race of cyberbullying has gotten insane. What the frick is... What is the dog doing? Do it up, FFT. Bullies had to adapt exactly, yeah. That's what I'm saying. COVID changed the bullying world.
lag reduction strats. Because it actually matters in this version on PlayStation. Same old bullying still happens? Dang. That's unfortunate. Kids are awful, though. Like, I don't know. I Being around children is just like... I... I like, I remember being a little shithead as a kid. But, like, I don't know. Seeing it as an adult, it just... It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, did the scar cable show up? Not yet. It's supposed to show up uh, in like the next anywhere from like the next 20 minutes to the next like couple hours it should be showing up. Um, but you know. Yeah, I'm gonna say Old Wooden Fred, uh, you're just kind of being annoying. I would appreciate it if you just watched the stream instead of chatting for now. That's up to you. Get up the waterfall! There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> my wolf movement is the best, by the way, in the world. World record holder, by the way. Can I get a library card? Did I get a library card? I forget if I have a library card. Yeah, swimming with the wolf is kind of janky, but it is very useful for this uh, preset. Did I forget to mark anything on the tracker? I guess I technically have the wolf, but... It's hard to keep track of everything, I will say. Uh, somebody will else will be running the tracker for GDQ, though, which is nice. So the tracker should be something I don't have to worry about. Dude, if this game just had a freaking PC port... We could just do PC randomizer. Oh, that'd be so nice. I don't know. Maybe if this game gets decomped anytime soon, we could all run on the PC version. That'd be cool. How is it physically possible for Cerberus to spin its three heads like that without breaking its neck? It's like, uh, it works like, uh, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know. A mortal demon, I think is how I'm supposed to say that. What's up? Glad you can make it to the stream. Also, what's up, uh, Quantum Iguana? <laughs> nice. Uh, can I do this? Wait. Did I find Spike Breaker? Why am I here? I can't check this yet. Oh, that was a mistake. And I don't have a library card either. We still haven't found anything in the... So it has to be... We found Gold Ring. Eh, it's probably not worth going after that Arcana, actually. So Grand Falloon is progression? Someone already made it in Unity. Yeah, dude. Someone definitely already remade the game in Unity. And you can play it right now. For sure. <laughs> That's actually my favorite part about it. Is that you could play it right now. 100% free, totally finished, and uh, original assets for sure. Let me 
Burn! Both rings, huh? Interesting. Well, now I don't feel too bad about coming down here. Because I'm like, oh, I should have skipped this place. But, like, I can't. I, I had to do this. This was required. Both rings, huh? I don't have... Oh, my God. This is so bad. I don't have the Aurochs warp. So I have to, like... Oh, the music's bugging out. Nice. This is for my flight, by the way. Just play Broden. <laughs> yeah, dude. Actually, um, what's the original of the night is basically Castlevania, but on the computer. Change how we see the relics. Uh, it's because I'm playing on uh, an actual PlayStation, so the automatic tracker doesn't work. Um, obviously, because like the auto tracker relies on uh, getting information from the emulator that you're playing on. But since I'm not playing on an emulator, it can't do that. So I have to keep track of it manually. So I'm using a different tracker. What sucks is I still need this warp. But I think it's fastest for me to get to glasses through the through the caverns, yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics, does it need a PC port? Yeah, I feel like it would do well to have a PC port. I don't understand why they gave up on the Final Fantasy Tactics series. And I also don't understand why they relegated it to the Game Boy Advanced and the DS for the Advanced series, which is fine. Game, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced is great. Advanced 2 is fine. But I don't know what they, what they were smoking. I enjoyed Advanced 2 for what it was, but I think it was mostly me just being nostalgic for the idea that there was another Advanced game that came out, or just another Final Fantasy Tactics game that came out. As somebody who was a big fan of Final Fantasy Tactics and Advanced, it was just like, oh boy, another one. And I think I just like had so much uh, copium and hopium flowing through my veins that I blinded myself to the, the idea that the game wasn't actually that great. Yo, this wolf movement going kind of crazy though. Hold up. Wait, let him cook. Hold up. This is totally not optimal, by the way, but it's funny that I can do this. Dude, I am cooking right now. Oh, damn. If I could jump up those stairs, that would have been faster. Okay. New area. Dude, yeah. This seed is so bad. The fact that my flight is locked behind gold and silver ring, and they were both in, like, the deepest depths of the caverns. I had to go all the way to Grand Falloon and then back to, um, I think the only thing that could have, no, this was actually the worst possible scenario because I didn't have a, a, a teleporter. Because even if it was, like, missed into going to back to the library, I feel like that's even better than what I had to do here. Let's remember to put the Mystic Pendant back on. Final Fantasy Tactics influenced you into liking Final Fantasy XII? Yeah, I feel like that's fair. I feel like the PvP and co-op aspects on the PSP version would work well on PC. I forgot they added that in the... Yeah, that is also... It's weird. Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fan or and Castlevania Soten have a lot of weird similarities where they had like a, a, a port that only existed on the PSP that ended up being like considered the definitive port, but it also has all sorts of like issues. Like, it's so weird. How are they so similar? Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics had a uh, PSP port. 
that like added new content and is, and is quote unquote the definitive version, but it has like performance issues and lags a lot. The PS4 version of Soten is the same as the PSP version of the game, which is basically the same as the uh, mobile version of the game. I have a lot of things I could say about that version of the game. However, if you only care about playing the game casually and your only device that you can play it on is your PS4, it's fine. But you're honestly better off just downloading an emulator and playing it on your computer, in my opinion. Oh, too far. Wee. Ooh, Yasutsuna, that's a good weapon. Yeah, the patch for the PSP version uh, is meant to help, but you have to play that on like a modded PSP or on an emulator or whatever. But without it, yeah, I feel like that would be really, really annoying. But like a definitive version of Final Fantasy Tactics that is on PC would be really nice. Or maybe like a Final Fantasy Tactics collection even, where it has like Advanced, Advanced 2 and FFT Lion Wars, but it's like the patched version. I feel like that'd be great. I would I would buy that for sure. Yeah, Sasuna. Eh, yeah, whatever. Could you imagine an FFT speedrun? Yes. Uh, I've looked into it. Final Fantasy Tactics speedruns are cool. They're just very long. I learned uh like half of the route of no math. Or I guess technically it's not half the route, it's chapters one and chapters two. Which is honestly like the two hard chapters to learn. I could have continued learning the rest of the game if I wanted to. But I just couldn't be bothered with a speedrun that's that long. Because it's like, when am I going to have time to sit down and do a five hour run? I mean, the game is definitely RNG hell. But for me, I was learning it because I just wanted to learn more about one of my favorite video games that I think is cool. And less so like I was trying to learn because I wanted to do speedruns. Uh, if you're like world record level, you can do it in four hours, I think. But I would be doing it in five hours for sure. And that also requires good luck. It's not just you're better at the game, therefore you do it in four hours. It's like you have to be good at the game and get lucky to do it in four hours. That sounds good, Lynn. If you want to play Soten on console and you don't have an Xbox, then, like, your only option is to play it on PS4 or to buy a PlayStation 1 and a, play a disc to play it on. But... Dark Metamorphosis increases damage of specifically the uh, Gur thing, which is the weapon I'm using. Come on. Wee. Yeah, all rocks canonically survives, I guess, because he shows up in another game, right? In the the doesn't he show up on um that mobile game or whatever? I don't remember. Some some. Oh, wait, no, all rocks is the the main bad guy of the radio drama, right? I think that's how it works. Um. This sucks. Do I have Jewel of Open? I do. Alright. Let's go do Alchemy Lab. You know the seed is good when this is the route I'm taking. Yeah, I, my favorite part about the randomizer is that you get access to cool weapons that normally require that you farm a lot. And the thing about weapons that require that you farm a lot is, like, you're already basically done with the game by the time you get access to them, you know? 
which is unfortunate. The Dreamcast is definitely up there for like underrated or like ahead of its time consoles, that's for sure. I don't know if I would consider it the best console ever made. I want my points. You know, the seed is tough, okay? I don't know, man. I'm trying my best. Bro, getting past this elevator, I think, is impossible without mist. We're bat. Nothing! Where the frick are all the relics? Come on, drop down, please. <sighs> Dang it. This seed is kind of bad, right? Uh, entrance is left, Fire of Bat is left, and, um... So is... the keep checks? I didn't do that many flight checks. Because basically all I've done is all rocks, right? Because flight was just in, like, such an awkward spot. I didn't open the shortcut, right? God, that would be too convenient if I did. Shit. That sucks. Damn. Oh, wow, there's a little freaking thing there. Oh, my God. Now I'm getting ghosted on. Dude, stop. Come on. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Do I go to the All Rock Swarp or do I go to Outer Wall? I'm just gonna go directly to Outer Wall. Fuck it. Does Iron Ball have any use in this game? Yeah, it's it's like an okay weapon. But it's not that great. Yeah, the turkeys are just there as like a joke item. That is the only location of those ghost enemies, uh, MPA. There's a couple of enemies like that in this game where they only appear in one location only. Speaking of iron balls. Oh, God. I will say doing the randomizer without the tracker is, like, much more brain intensive. Or with without an auto tracker, that is. Because I, I have to remember so much more. Or at least that's how it feels. Yeah, the reason why Turkey Mode exists is just to make sure that people don't go there to find sub-weapons. So you have to find sub-weapons and candles. That's basically it. Oh, I have to do Fire of Bat. Damn it. Let's go do Fire of Bat first. It's probably better that I do it first.
Did I beat the 45 minute seed? Did I beat the, the record there? No. I was close though. I was a minute off. Holy glasses. Okay, so the progression was Leapstone into Jewel of Open into gra into Rings into Gravity Boots. Leapstone, Jewel of Open, Rings, Gravity Boots, Glasses. So we're on layer... Everything in the second castle is layer six. Should I go check Spike Breaker? Probably should, yeah. I'll save split it, I think. Yeah, I think I'll save split it. And there's nothing here. Okay, another Vlad Relic. I'll take it. All right, let's go save split. We'll check. Because Spike Breaker isn't guaranteed to be the final Vlad or whatever, but it'll at least give us good info. Don't you hate it when you cook lasagna, you have to wait like 10 minutes for it to cool down? Just have third degree burns inside of your mouth. Doi. No, nah, nothing is worse than burning your mouth on like really hot food. It, it, you lose your sense of taste, your whole mouth hurts, it's, it's uncomfortable, it sucks. It's like you can't even enjoy the food. Like what's the point? It depends on the lasagna, but yeah, you, it, it takes a while for it to cool. Is it, it lasagna is just full of layered material that like will all try and trap heat, basically. Lasagna is kind of like a soup if you think about it, right? It's like a noodle soup. Is lasagna a cake? Nah, it's soup. Lasagna is definitely a, more of a soup than it is anything else. Think about it, bro. It's more of a pie. Can I get a library? I'm glad I checked this first. So that means Bat is in the second castle, but we're going to be able to skip the return visit to the, to the first castle. That's good. The only downside is no library cards. And it's a 50-50 between checking... I should probably check both just in case, because I can. Damn, I'm clean. My wolf movement go dummy sometimes. Uh, I think I'm just going to follow the warp route and... Be f I'll hopefully be fine, yeah. I think the idea is I want to go to Outer Wall, go into the library, check what's at the library, and then maybe save at Castle Keep, depending on if I find a relic here or not. Because it's possible that there's two Vlad relics on the same layer here. So I gotta have a Vlad relic at um, that are both guarded by Mist. 
So because of that, I think I want to check both, even if I find a relic here. If I don't find a relic here, I'm 100% checking the other one without a save split. I'm just going to go there. But if I find a, a Vlad relic here, then I'll do the other one with a save split, I think. No, no, no. You guys got, you got it all mixed up. It, I'm saying lasagna is like a, like a soup, but not like a wet soup. It's like a dry soup. Well, it's not. It's like a moist soup. It's not a full dry. You guys have had dry soup though, right? Y'all tell me you never had dry soup? Here comes the Italians. Hey, what are you talking about? What the fuck is dry soup? I'm at soup! We have a lot of money. Was there anything useful in the shop? I don't even remember anymore. I'm gonna keep it real. The beginning of the seed is just a blur to my brain. Do 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 do. Wow 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 wow. Mana prisms. They were like 5k each, right? Yeah, I don't think even think that's worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do Silver Ring with a save split, specifically because Silver Ring can be the final Vlad Relic, uh, even though I just found what is presumably the final Vlad Relic. You can have two uh, Vlad Relics share the same layer. You know if this had ham in it, it would be like a casserole, and the cook is like, if <laughs> wheels would it be a bicycle. True, actually, if you think about it, if humans had wheels, they would be a bicycle, right? No, that guy, let him cook, guys. That guy's that that cook was on. He's literally a cook. We should let them cook. That cook was on to something. Let's cook. If you replaced your arms and wheel, uh, arms and wheels, arms and legs with wheels, you would be a car, right? But if you replaced your legs with wheels, you would be a bicycle. That's how it works. What happens if I do this? It's slow. Don't do it. <laughs> Would I need life insurance or car insurance? In this economy? Probably both. Knowing the dystopian capitalist society we live under, they would make you have both, for sure. What about tank legs? Now you're just talking about armor core. An armored core looks like it might be fun. All terrain legs. I want to be a mech from the original Gundam with tank treads. Yeah, that's that's armored core. You guys just keep talking about armored core. <laughs> Do 
Um, two Vlad relics on the second castle. We full cleared the first castle. We have like 20 minutes to beat the seed. This should be doable. We have a decent weapon, as long as we don't take too much damage and die. This feels like a, a W. Armored Core 6, coming soon. Yeah, I'm surprised, um... FromSoft is like, like, you know what? Everybody loved all of our Souls-like games, all the Dark Souls, the Sekiro's, the, the, the Elden Rings. Let's go make some more robot games. Remember when we made robot games? That was pretty cool, right? Like, I feel like they haven't made an Armored Core game since Dark Souls got popular, right? Like, Armored Core 5, wasn't that for, like, the Xbox 360? In PS3. That's crazy. There was one after Dark Souls 1? Oh. But that was the last one. And Dark Souls 1, I think, was like kind of a slow burn. It wasn't like an instant classic. It was like a cult classic. And then eventually people kind of caught on. After, like, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3. Like, each Dark Souls game that comes out gets people reinvested in uh, Dark Souls 1 over time. Like, I played Dark Souls 1, thought it was a bad game, and then I played Dark Souls 3, loved it, finished it, then went back to Dark Souls 1 and finished that as well. And then I tried to play Dark Souls 2, and I got about halfway through, and I said, this game's fine. And then I never played it again. No, streamer, you don't understand. Dark Souls 2 is actually the best because of the build variety. And also the PvP was the best because... And also, uh, you played the wrong version. You played the original. You're supposed to play Scholar of the First Sin. Even though Scholar of the First Sin was designed specifically for players who have already played the original. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong... Why do I have two Asus Funes? What the heck? I gave up after... I think... Ornstein and Smo on my first playthrough. I think I went all the way through to Ornstein and Smo, and then afterwards I was like, I can't be bothered to actually figure out what I'm supposed to do. Like, I think I never found uh, the Artorius ring, and I never got the um, Abyss stuff. I never wanted to, like, explore the Grand Archives or any of that. I just gave up. I was like, you know what? I beat Ornstein and Smo. I beat the game. You steal and then I went back and finished it for and real, for real. Thank you, Immortal Demon. Appreciate you. Really appreciate that tier one. Dark Souls is an uninteresting game to play, but fun to watch. Um, For a lot of people, I believe that's true. I personally enjoy playing Dark Souls games. Um, but it's one of those games that is definitely like a slow burn. Like, you got to get into it. I don't think there's a single human being that picks up Dark Souls and then immediately is like, oh, yes, this is my favorite game of all time. I love the, the gameplay controls and the, the way that the world is not telling me anything about it. And the people who are like, no, dude, you got to go into Dark Souls completely, like, no spoilers, no hints. You got to spend 25 hours battling uh, skeletons in the graveyard. I think that's bullshit. My personal philosophy is if you get stuck, just look it up. And your experience with the Souls games is going to be a lot better. Yeah, that's literally just elitism. Exactly. I love extra load dimes. It's my favorite. Yeah, I need to figure out this audio glitch and fix it before GDQ. That's my same opinion about uh, Metroidvanias as well. 
Because a lot of Metroidvanias usually will have a moment somewhere in the, the game where it's like you just get stuck and you have to go back and find like the one room you missed or whatever. A lot of times I'm like, I don't have the patience to like backtrack through the entire game to find the one thing that I missed. So I will just look up a guide. Shamelessly, I will just look up a guide and figure it out that way. Because like, I don't know. I feel like doing that, if it's not the style of gameplay that you like, if you are frustrated with the idea of like backtracking through the entire freaking game world again, just, just, just don't do it. Like, why make the game worse for yourself out of the idea of, like, this arbitrary, like, quote-unquote purity that you need to uphold? You're not playing the game the way the developers intended. You're looking up a g -g 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 guide. It's like, I don't know. I mean, the developers kind of fucked up by making this too uh, obtuse to figure out on your own. But that's fine. I, I still like the game enough to keep playing it, so I'm going to just look up a guide. You will only lose your fun if you look up a guide? No. You look up a guide for the specific thing you're stuck on and then you continue. At least that's the way I play. I'm not saying look up a guide and spoil literally everything and have the guide play the game for you. Which, by the way, that's also like a valid way to play the game. Like, I think the first time I ever completed Majora's Mask, because I had started it and never, like, actually finished it multiple times, I just played through with a guide uh, for the 100% of the game, and I 100% of the game. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Because to a certain extent, I just couldn't be bothered to figure out the solutions, but I wanted to experience the game. And I think that's fine. I don't think there's anything, like, wrong or bad about it. And to be fair, like, back in the day, games were also designed with the idea that you would look up the strategy guide or call the freaking Nintendo hotline for, like, $20 a minute to get answers on how to get past the freaking quote-unquote puzzles of Castlevania 2. I'm missing one Vlad Relic. Is that true? Yeah, it is. All right, we're skipping Creature, then. God, my movement is actually really good. It's the best I've ever moved. I don't know. I'm just of the opinion that if you get stuck in a video game, and if you want to give up, just give up. That's fine. I'm not telling you that you need to play a video game that you think is bad or whatever. But also, it's like, you could just not be stubborn and just look it up. It's like, you know, when you're lost in a place that you're not used to, and you're like, I will not ask for directions. I will not have a, another, I will not talk to another human being and ask for help. It's like, you don't even have to talk for to a human being to get help. It's just, you're being stubborn and not asking for help on the internet. And if you are just a stubborn individual and you're like, no, I have to play the game all by myself. That's fine. Like, that's fine. You're allowed to do that. I just personally have a different idea of, like, enjoyment. It's, I think it's one of the reasons why, like, video game spoilers, like, don't super bother me that much. Because it's like, I'm going to like the game, regardless if the plot gets spoiled or whatever. But I also have been changing my opinion about that in recent memory, because, like, specifically with my uh, playthrough of Elden Ring, I made, I was like, this is going to be my first game where I try and actively avoid spoilers, avoid walkthroughs, and just play it, like, by myself, basically. And I did have some very, very, like, magical moments happen. But 
So I'm kind of torn. I could see both. Where, like, spoilers aren't that big of a deal. Like, the game is going to be fun regardless. And I think I still would have enjoyed Elden Ring. But there's, like, one moment in particular in Elden Ring that is, like, a very important experience that you don't really want spoiled. At least in my opinion. And it's one of the more formative experiences that I had. For those that don't know what I'm talking about or are curious what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the big elevator. You know which one I'm talking about. If, if you don't know which one I'm talking about, then don't worry about it. Yeah, some, some video games, just you just need some guidance sometimes, and that's okay. Because sometimes uh, game developers and game designers will create systems or create ideas for their games that are really, really cool, but are very difficult for a new player to wrap their head around. Elden Ring's great. If you haven't played it and you want to play it and you're like, I don't know, maybe I'll try it at some point. Like, yeah, you should do that. It's a good game. I think it's worth. Nice. <sighs> Honestly, if the last relic was that creature, we wouldn't have finished in an hour and five. So I think we're fine. But if the last relic was that creature, we would have been screwed. Oh, I also, do, like, just don't play story-heavy games, like, ever. Or games where, like, the story can't really be spoiled. Like, in Elden Ring, how are you going to spoil the story of Elden Ring? Like, they're not... No one's sitting down and telling you the story of Elden Ring. You have to read item descriptions and stuff like that. Also, Lulu Bear, thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream went well. Welcome, everybody. We're finishing up uh, Symphony of the Night Randomizer Seed in preparation for my randomizer run at GDQ. Talking about video games, chilling, having a good time. Feel free to chill out. Like, if someone tried to spoil the story of Elden Ring, I'd be like, okay, whatever. But if someone spoiled, like, key moments of Elden Ring, I'd be like, okay, that's a little rude. You know? I don't know. Is Girthing better than Asafune? I don't know. And I don't have uh, any power-ups. Mm. I think you can one cycle with the Atsutsuna, though. Could I take a seven to eight minute pause for water or a bathroom break? Right now? In the middle of my speed run? And why seven to eight minutes? That seems very particular. <laughs> Also, why would I need to take eight minutes to use the bathroom? You think I'm constipated? I'll have you know that I am very regular. Thank you very much. Oh, you want points. I'm stupid. Lamau, I didn't even realize that that's what that was about. I'm actually dumb in the head. Shaft. Why does he say his own name when he throws the balls at you? I mainly play JRPGs. Story is save cat, then kill God. Honestly, yeah. Behold my true yeah. Yasasuna, no! Why didn't you one cycle? My sub hour. There it is. No, my sub hour. Trouble the soul of my mother. Oh, well. Yeah, that seed was rough at the start, but we kind of pulled it together near the end there. Is it 
Not bad. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. You have been doomed ever since you lost. Seriously, you, you know, I, do I have to? Do I always have to tell you to subscribe every single time? Like every single time? Do I gotta tell you you gotta join the live stream at twitch.tv slash dragonbuts every single time? Come on, you got. You'll you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. I believe in you. Anyways, bye YouTube.